All right, everyone. Time has come. So everyone wants uh, high-end sound for cheap, right? Uh, what I did, based on my last year research, we all know that uh, Vima capacitors fix the sound. And like that's technically because they're film capacitors and they don't have those negative effects which regular electrolytes do. So what we will do today, I've already been opening the deck to see what electrolytes installed here like a few years ago. And I believe it's uh, a good Japanese capacitors. What I will do, I will check if there are uh, film capacitors sits in a parallel. And if not, so we will install those. And uh, my comparison with my high-end uh, DAC is that they are close, really close, but the scum really loose a little bit on the highs. As it's not that detailed, not that open stage as from high-end DAC. So let me see if I can make them even. And the only difference which we left is uh, worms of the Artware ducts versus like uh, Sigma Delta ducts, right? Because that one is one of the best uh, Sigma Delta ducts I have. It sounds even better than AKM. As I remember, they use uh, different ducts, not AKM and not CSS. So let me open it and let's see all together. All right, everyone, that is what I expected. So that's the output board. We have three ducts. Uh, two of those are, let me see, PCM1795. Another one. 1795 and the third one uh, 4202 all right one of those is responsible for DSD sound and two others for PCM sound all right and one of them is ADC technically so probably this one is ADC these two are ducks that's the control chip 91k g4 it never seen that one all right everything assembled modern way nice and perfect and this recorder has been designed in 19 not 19 in 2012 and was in production like for a few years all right, I've got mine somewhere around 2020, 2021. They still were available on Amazon. Now they are only available from used purchases, but um, still really nice, really nice deck. All right, let me pull out this board and because I don't see any capacitors installed in parallel. So those green capacitors, those are responsible for sound here and here and let's see if i would be able to install uh, vima cups and let's check how it will sound afterwards see soon okay and now when the board is off we may see that these green capacitors are suncon i need to check what this company is uh, we have uh, separately balanced here like uh, four another four for the balanced inputs, uh, we have RCA to output to inputs, and we have output for. All right. Okay, let me start with RCA. If RCA will show good results, then we will check balanced. I haven't found any caps in a parallel to this 47 microfarad, those are 47 by 25, the green ones. So that's probably will, will make a difference. Let me see, see soon. All right, everyone, that's how it looks like. It has so teeny space here that uh, I barely fit them in. We need to maintain low profile so now it's time to test. Can we get hi-fi, not hi-fi, high-end for cheap, 
<laughs> because like uh, the more I listen, the more I believe that the parts quality and designs matter. I have Sony Super Audio CD player, uh, which uses few capacitors in a parallel to electrolyte, right? And it sounds just the best, all right, of all CDs I ever have heard. All right, now let me install, and it's time to test and listen. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm connected and testing, and up to 40 kilogertz, there is a drop, like, by one decibel. That's where I see on my VTVM, all right? And it's currently set to 96 kilogertz sample rate. Let me change it to different sample rate. Uh, here we go. Let's take some time, 192. All right, set. Exit. Now it should go even higher. So 400 gears, 10 kilogertz, 20, 30, 40, half decibel, 50, 60, 1 decibel lower, 70, minus 3 decibel, 80, minus 5 decibel. All right. 90 kilogertz, it, it drops significantly. Okay, but at least we know with 192, let's change the shape okay let me see what we need to change what oh. set duty face i want to change the mode from sinusoidal to different one here wave let's do square all right, uh, that's one channel, and now we need to do on the second channel. And to go to the second channel, we need to click channel two and do the same wave square. All right, that's the 10 kilohertz. Not bad wave, really. Channel 1, frequency 20, cable okay, channel 30, 40. At 40 we have sine wave, uh, 10, not that bad, 400 gears, really nice, it's 192 sample rate. Let's go 1 kilohertz, 2, 3, 4, 5. Really good. Six, seven, eight point four, nine point four, ten point four, five, fourteen point four. Sorry, that's a connectivity issue. The channels, as I already say, they absolutely even. I. That's what I want to get now. Let me assemble it and listen on the speakers and I will tell you the difference, if it's any season. Okay, everyone, that would be the final part. So I tested multiple sources. I currently play in DSD files. I bought at native DSD and I would say that this change was dramatic for this player recorder. It now like plays on the level of the high-end DAC with benefits that it's uh, how the like the stage separation the instruments on the stage are better than than from the high-end DAC. Uh, that was I was mentioned before with my live audio DAC, that when I listen into the CD or super audio CD, so CD I can connect with my coaxial to the DAC and I was comparing. DAC was always given wider stage and those stage sounds a little bit artificial. 
Same happens here. If I listen like PCM signal, connect from uh, digital output and switch between outputs on the amplifier, uh, this DAC uh, has a little bit more narrow stage, but instruments are localized, localized very, very well. Same as from the Sony. Uh, from live audio, a stage is wider, but it's way harder to localize instruments on the stage. Um, not sure if it's uh, because of its leather duck or because it's like they use some DSD, DSP processing on the signals to make stage wider. I'm not sure, All right? But uh, this now are technically super close to AKM duck installed in my uh, Rotel amplifier with um, better like better like more clear high frequencies all right so this change uh, i will make a separate video we will talk about capacitors how they shape sound why they shape sound uh, particularly and uh, how to make a good ducks and as we learned on cassette decks so we can improve so there's no limits with the ducks we can improve and bring them to the really really good level all right, so that would be it for this part. Thanks for being with me for that long. Really, really nice uh, Tascam deck. I love it. So enjoy, stay with me, stay on my channel, and bye-bye.